Hey Sagittarius, let's see guys what's going on for October. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Um, thank you for sharing. Um, thank you for commenting. And thank you for liking the video. I hope I'm able to connect with the majority of you Sagittarius. Um, if not, that's okay. There's always next time, right? guys so much if you haven't subscribed please be sure to subscribe all right let's see also at the end of this i will have the um extended reading if you guys are interested um that will cover more of your person's feelings um how they view you how they feel about you um what's hidden and advice on how to move forward all right if you're interested, the information will be provided below. All right, Sag, without further ado, <laughs> let's see. Month of October. Sagittarius. So your person is coming up with this ladybug energy, so they could be very lighthearted, uh, very charming, very graceful. They could be going through a period of like good luck, good fortune right now, um, feeling like, you know, little miracles are going on or even big miracles have happened in this person's life. This could be your person. Very calm very easy you know very easy uh way about them right now oh you guys are coming up as the quarrel spirit and then mutual energy between both of you guys you guys have the fish getting closer to the depth of who you are and good health maybe you guys are both um practicing new you know health habits like maybe new diets maybe you guys are exercising more um maybe you guys have like new ideas on how the relationship can progress in a you know more healthy way you guys both share this energy mutually um so you're coming up detached Let's see what this says. It says, nice and steady. Koro emphasizes the importance of a strong and sturdy foundation for whatever you choose to build. Koro resides underwater, and with every shift in current, Koro holds strong because it is extremely grounded on the ocean floor. No matter what emotions swirl around you, stay rooted to the core of your being, and you will be able to withstand any storms ahead. It's easy to get swept up by the drama of others or even your own emotions. But Coral reminds you that your, that your emotions are not your identity and to detach yourself from them when you feel yourself getting carried away. Emotions come and go, but you are here to stay. This awareness builds trust within yourself and others can rely on you to offer an objective and diplomatic view influenced by the data. Coral promotes peace and mastery, becoming still in the face of chaos. All right, Saji, so you guys are very grounded at this time um you know sticking to your guns basically sticking to your guns um wanting things to move forward but also making sure that you're not getting carried away uh by your emotions you know knowing when to uh react to your emotions and when to just you know let them come and let them pass um choosing not to identify with how you feel you know all right maybe both of you guys are like wanting um like more affection more love you know more like um time spent together mutually you guys could feel like that wanting to be more together you know Maybe you guys have like busy lifestyles, busy schedules, and the both of you guys are needing, feeling the need of like love, you know, wanting to feel loved, wanting to feel cared for, wanting to feel catered to. 
Oh, wow, look, you have healthy choices. Self-love, self-care, being happier, love and life. And I was just saying, you guys might be um, practicing like better. <laughs> this is crazy. The love card, better like health um, habits, you know, eating better, eating healthier, stuff like that. You had the, the love card, unconditional love, self-love, wholeness, affection, attraction, and selflessness. That's funny. I was just talking about that. Maybe this is someone who loves you unconditionally, Sag. This could be someone who loves you unconditionally. Or you could love this person very, you know, unconditionally. You accept them as they are. They accept you as you are. You have picture. Looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making you memories. This person could be looking at pictures of you guys, or you could be looking at pictures of this person, missing them, wanting them to be close to you, wanting to be near you. Oh, you have coffin, no beginnings, liberation, reborn, transition, tragic endings. Hmm. What has ended, Sag? Is that habits that are ending? Is that toxic cycles that are ending? Is that a recent breakup with someone? What is that talking to? And you have teddy bear. Interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, and want to date. Maybe this is someone new, Sag. And you have the date card on the bottom of the deck. Get back out there, meeting someone new, setting a date, date online. Hmm. Maybe this is someone new because that your person is coming up with the ladybug energy. Ladybug speaks about good luck. Maybe the person you're talking to, this new person, maybe they feel like they're lucky because they met you, you know? Maybe they feel like you're a miracle to them. <laughs> And you guys are both, you guys mutually have the fish spirit. And the fish spirit speaks about, um, you know, being fertile. So you guys, this is something new. It's like when you're pregnant, you know, it's a new thing, a new way of life, you know. So maybe both of you guys, you know, share that energy. Like, wow, this is something new that feels so good, you know. Oh, Saggies, that's awesome. You guys could be feeling liberated or this person could be feeling liberated. And you could also have someone else who, you know, who does miss you because <laughs> you have a picture. Or this could be someone who you don't get to see that often. You know, this is a new person. Maybe they have a busy lifestyle or you have a busy lifestyle. You guys are not able to see each other as, you know, as much as you'd like to. So they look at pictures of you or pictures of the both of you guys when you guys go out and stuff like that. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. Ooh, the Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Jeez, all wands. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. And the Magician. Oh, with the Five of Pentacles on the bottom. Hmm. All right, well, what I want to say first is there's major attraction. Someone is super attracted to you, Saj. You are like physically, um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you are just that, like you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Someone views you as being like, just like spectacular. <laughs> um, they feel like you're a very... Um, uh, what do you call it? Like a very good manifester. Like and, and everything that you set your eye on or everything that you put your energy towards, you make that come true. It's like they, they feel like you um like you have a direct connection to spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're very um uh what's the word? Like First of all, you're very magnetic. You're super attractive. You could even be traveling or this person may be traveling. This person may be wanting to send you or sending you messages after messages. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys got it going on. You are financially stable. You are emotionally stable. 
you are super attractive, you are very charismatic, um, and they do view you, they could even uh, feel like you have like some sort of like witchy, you know, witch, some kind of like witch essence to you. But it's like you are the center of attention. That's how this person feels. You are the center of attention. Like no matter where you go, you get attention. Like it doesn't matter where you go, you can go to the store and people are just so attracted to you because of your charm. And it's not just your outer beauty, it's like an inner beauty that you have as well. You know? It's like you're you, you walk around like a goddess, you know? That's how this person feels about you. And you have a lot of like um hidden knowledge, like things that you know of that it's like wow like you know like sag is just so different so spiritual so deep you know that's how this person feels about you sag wow that was beautiful i feel like i don't even need to clarify this reading <laughs> that's awesome But I see someone out in the cold, someone out in the cold who's looking for a way in, looking for how they can come back in. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone is wanting to come back home or wanting to... You know get your attention again but i see you guys having a lot of pursuits people wanting your attention sag it's funny because scorpio just got the same thing hmm the nine of swords i feel like that's someone this could be someone you had a family with because you have the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck someone is losing sleep because they feel like you're a your um charm your um attract like how attractive you are is calling a lot of suitors like a lot of competition and it's making them lose sleep at night oh, i wouldn't want to be that person <laughs> the page of cups clarifying the three of wands this person right now i feel like um this could be a pisces because i see uh the fish this person is waiting like on the waiting for the best time to approach you this could either be the person who's losing sleep or this could be someone new because this is a page a new water sign could be cancer uh cancer pisces scorpio and i have the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck as i said that a water sign or earth sign uh, someone waiting for the perfect chance to strike, you know, and it may come as a surprise to you, Sag. This may definitely come as a surprise to you when this person finally makes a move. And if it's the past person, when this person finally apologizes to you, you may not even take their apology, to be honest. All right, let's see this. Eight of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. You know what I got right away once that card came out? When the Three of Wands on the bottom. I feel like you guys have been working towards something that's uh, helping your finances grow. Um, and it's like it's going to happen overnight. It's going to happen so fast for you, Sag. Where like one day you were like down, you know, um, not as financially um, comfortable as you wanted to be. But there's going to be some sort of like transition that you're going to go through and it's going to happen like at the speed of light and you're going to be this like you know um what do you call it you're going to be this very financially comfortable person you know it's going to happen really fast like your ships are about to start coming in Zaj. oh you got the ace of wands now someone is super super attractive to you Zaj. like physically mentally spiritually all of it all of it they view you as very nurturing but also like super attractive like 
almost like how can this person be so kind so beautiful so nurturing so like such a great caregiver but also so sexy like how does that all exist in one person <laughs> Oh, Saggy, the Four of Wands. Oh, this could be... You have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom. I'm telling you, I felt that energy. People are, are trying to get your attention, Sag. I got the same thing for Scorpio. Maybe you guys have Scorpio in your chart. Or could be dealing with the Scorpio. This is like celebrations. The Four of Wands celebrating, you know, a win. This could be someone you feel is your divine partner. Or this person could feel like you're their divine partner. That's beautiful. All right, I'm going to see the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. You're going to have a lot of options, Sag. A lot of options. You have the Empress on the bottom. You are embodying this empress energy there's taurus libra and now cancer energy here you may have those signs in your chart or you could be dealing with one of those signs and who doesn't want an empress right who wouldn't want an empress <laughs> the magician with the high priestess Ooh, you are in touch with that like like you are, in, you're just in tune. You are in tune. You could even be manifesting, honestly, Saj. You could be using like candle magic or some sort of like rituals that you're doing. Let me tell you that is working. <laughs> it is working, girl or guy. Sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to be sexist or anything. <laughs> um, whether you're a woman or a man, whatever you're doing, it's working. You are being viewed as like a highly respectable person who's like, you, you know your shit. You know what I'm saying? You about it. You are about it. And people are dying for your attention. But I feel like you're kind of um, focused on other things. Could be work, could be, um, you know, making your life what you want it to be. Ooh, I just get really good vibes off this reading, Sag. Really good vibes. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. <gasps> you see? That's what I said. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I said. The Eight of Wands. Remember I told you that it's going to happen overnight? Like, the your success. It's going to happen overnight. You have the Ten of Pentacles now with the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to be so financially comfortable. You're just going to be like so mind boggled. You're going to be like, is this me? Like, who is this? What, what is happening in my life? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you might have someone, could be a Pisces, like I said earlier, uh, feeling regretful, regretful, sad, sad, maybe for how they treated you. Maybe, um, oh my God, oh my, oh my God, jeez, you have so many nice cards here. You have the hanged man, someone looking at you differently with the queen of cups, with the two of cups, with the temperance, the wheel of fortune, the magician, the sun, all major arcana here. There are major, like big changes about to take place in your life, Sagittarius. If I were you, I would get excited. Because I'm getting excited and I'm not even a Sag. <laughs> but get excited because this is about to be amazing for you, Sag. I am so excited for you. There could even be a Pisces who is looking at you differently. Who was holding back at one point, but now they're like, you know what? Who the fuck am I lying to? I love Sag. Like, that's my partner. That's babe, <laughs> you know, that's babe right there. The wheel of fortune, but it's all going to happen in divine timing. And I'm telling you, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You are manifesting pure happiness. You're manifesting, not only are you manifesting money, but you're manifesting true love, unconditional love. While someone else is out. 
someone else is outside of this connection or outside of you know being with you wanting to come back in feeling left out feeling like you left them behind you know what i kind of got too with this page of wands with this little little uh dynamic here the five of pentacles with the page of pentacles like someone trying to um almost buy their way in like trying to be like oh you know sag look what i got now look at this new thing that i just got or like trying to show off you know to try to like win their way back in but i don't think they're gonna get too far with that approach <laughs> i don't think so could be someone who has dreads who has longer hair who's dark skin um hmm. yeah i don't see you guys taking that offer to be honest i see you guys moving forward um alone focusing on that coin focusing on what you know the universe is is cooking up for you Oof, Sag, this, this reading it really it gave me goosebumps because this is like amazing, amazing energy here. All right, I'm going to close this out with what to look forward to, even though this reading alone is like you have so many things to look forward to for nothing. This was a, an amazing reading. Let's see. What do you have to look forward to? Sagittarius. I'm so happy for you guys, Saggies. Luck? Oh my god. You can't be serious. Celebrations. Come on. You got you are right to be you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. Oh my god, Sag. This is amazing. Like, this is a beautiful reading. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys, Saggies. Really, really, like I am. I really am. I'm really happy for you guys. And I hope that everything that you want, I hope that it manifests for you. You guys deserve it. We all deserve it. But it sounds like it's Sag season, you know? <laughs> Matter of fact, it's almost going to be Sag season. We're already in Libra season. There's two more. Well, after Scorpio, it's your turn. So, wow i'm excited for you guys please comment below if if you know do you feel like this is resonating but this may be this may be a prediction i feel like this might not be happening right now maybe some of you this could be the energy you guys are embracing right now but i feel like this is coming in and i just want you guys to please comment when it comes in please comment on this video save the video pin it whatever you got to do i don't know what you got to do but do something <laughs> just to like let me know if this really you know took place because i feel it like i feel that you guys are gonna be blessed oh my god my hairs are standing all right saggies well if you guys are interested i will have the extended info on the bottom where we'll talk more about your person's feelings how they view you how they feel about you what's hidden and advice moving forward um i love you guys so 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 much and i hope that this offered you some more information more clarity on you know the direction of where your life is going all right saggies have a good night Bye bye